Straight right hand, no good. Uppercut lands for him. Oh! He's in trouble. Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. For my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. And it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 17 wins, five losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. So you And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. All right, good to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. Good to have you with us tonight. Of course, we are inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Back at UFC 166, remember Rogan? Oh, my God! It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. These two guys said, this is the night that we make history. Man on the quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. Just misses with the left hook. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Connects with the right. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. 
beautiful body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice head kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming up to Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Slips to avoid that one. Honing in on those counters. Nice strike. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice kick there by Lee. Left hand counter there. Straight right hand, no good. Upper cut lands for him. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice head kick. 20 seconds left. Lee's kick is blocked. Big kick. Oh, oh. Straight right. What an end to round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Someone on this cut. Calm down. We knew it was going to be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? Got it under control. Go Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Lee. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Oh, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. He made good use of it there with that punch to the scene. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Spinning back fist. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combination. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Back and forth we go. Just missed with the elbow there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Slips. A oh, little single collar tie there. That is how we scramble, folks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, single collar tie now. Pretty good right hand. Pretty significant well to the left side. 
Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Big body kick. Big head kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. What a punch. Right under the oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon!